Hello everybody, this is Testing Guru 1991. Welcome to my tutorial about software test automation using Selenium with Java. Locator identifiers in Selenium are CSS, Xpath, ID, class name, name, and link text. In this video, we are going to see how to find element by CSS selectors on web page. CSS stands for Cascade Style Sheet and values can be located on the right side of the screen after we select an element in DOM document object model. And now we are going to open Firefox browser and to enter, for example, google.com. And we are going to perform right click on element on web page and inspect element. After we click inspect element on the left side of the screen, document object model is shown and HTML element input with some class name and those are attributes. And on the right side of the screen, styles for that element are shown. We are going to modify our code from previous part of video tutorial from part one. So we are going to open our clips and the code is here. So we are going to comment this out so we can do some new things. Slash star star and at the end star star slash. And the whole code is commented, only the property stays and web driver driver new Firefox. The basic syntax is something like this driver dot find element by CSS selector and inside of this is going to be some CSS selector we are going to see a little bit later for example some class class name and then we are going to perform some method for example send keys because we are going to see the example on input field and we are going to send some keys something this is basic syntax and now we are going to see how to find value for this we are going to open our browser again and to see the CSS values for this element. For this input element, CSS are located here. And for example, there is this class. So before we start coding in Eclipse, we are going to check our solution in console. Just remember this value and click console we use console to try to select element before we use some selector in the test code it is time saving feature and errors are much more rare so and just remember this css value and now we are going to open console and inside of console for css selectors we are going to type dollar sign open and close brackets and inside of double quotes we are going to say and this is value from css and just click enter and when you click enter element is selected and this element is going to be selected and by our code when we type this value from css shown here we can try something else for example we can scroll down and we can choose this go back to console and type again dollar sign open and close brackets and inside of double quotes just type value we just remembered and this is going to be and just click enter and element is selected in this case div element is selected and we can remember this div and go back to inspector 
and we can see that div before this input field is selected because we are going to enter some values in this field we are going to need input input is field for entering some values we are going to remember this value and now we can go back to our clips and just type here when value start with dot it stands for class and if starts with hash then it is for id before we start execution of our test we are going to need driver dot get and just type google.com save it and right click run as java application the browser is started google is entered and inside of input field something is entered this is example how you can select element using class, but if you want to select some element using ID, you can do this with hash and name of that ID. For example, you can do right click inspect element again. Inside of inspector, we are going to find some element. For example, this one div with id viewport and we select this in document object model and inside of styles styles are shown different styles and for example this hash viewport stands for id and we can select this element with this value we can click on console and we can try to select the viewport dollar sign open and close brackets and inside of double quotes we are going to say hash viewport and just click enter and viewport is selected and what it means for our code it means that we can do selecting this element by hash viewport this stands for ID and dot stands for class. Now is up to you to try to find some element and practice. If you like this video tutorial, subscribe, share and like. See you in the next video tutorial where we are going to talk about XPath selectors.